This is the video solution to one of the simple example problems with torque. I've got a gray beam and it's got a 4 newton force applied to it at 22 degrees with the vertical. That vertical line is perpendicular to the beam and that force is applied 3 meters away from the pivot point which is sometimes referred to as the axis or axis of rotation. So in order to find the torque I need to find a component of the force that's perpendicular to the distance. These two things, force and distance, need to be perpendicular to each other so here's one of the ways to do it. I've got this horizontal distance vector and I'm going to draw a 90 degree angle between it and where the force is applied. So I need to find a component of the force that matches the other side of this 90 degree blue angle. That's going to be this red arrow. So this red arrow is the side of a triangle. So I'm going to treat the four newtons like it's the hypotenuse of a right triangle and I can see from my picture that the red arrow is adjacent to the 22 degrees which means I'm going to have to use the cosine function to figure out its, its length or its magnitude. So that's going to be the hypotenuse times cosine 22 degrees, which in this case is 4 newtons cosine 22. So the torque, which is abbreviated with the Greek symbol tau, looks kind of like a fancy capital T, is the perpendicular component of force times distance. So the torque is 4 newtons cosine 22 degrees times 3 meters. So the torque is 4.60 newton meters. Now I've got to figure out if this is a positive or negative torque around that pivot point. So to do that, I'm going to use my pencil test, and I'm calling my dog Sophie to help give me a little bit of help here. All right, so what Sophie's going to do is she's going to take her paws and put one on the pivot point and one where the force is applied, and she's going to move the pencil in the direction of the force. Now I can visualize a little bit easier how it's being rotated. So in this case, I can see that it's rotating in a clockwise direction, and I know that whenever something moves in a clockwise direction, it's going to be a negative torque. So the correct answer is negative 4.60 newton meters.